Welcome back, Scary Mystery Story Lovers. Today we will be talking about the Deep Woods Horror Story. Feel free to subscribe if you love contents like this so you'll be updated every time I upload a new horror story or a mysterious story. Today we'll be talking about the farmer that knew the forest, or should I say the farmer that thought he knew the forest very well. So here was a man that has lived all his life by feeding from the forest. He gets all everything he needs from the forest. His farm and everything. How that's his that is his source of livelihood. He's always in the forest. The people in his community call him the forest man because he knew the forest very well, like the back of his hand, according to him. When people go missing in his community and even beyond to the other neighboring community, he is one of the people that he call. He's like a bush tracker. He can track you anywhere and find you in the woods. He was that good. So I believe this will give you an insight of who we're talking about. It's someone that knew the woods. This is someone that knew the forest or he felt he knew the forest. On this day, he told his wife he was going to the forest to fetch some firewood. Now this is a true life story as every story I share on my channel is a true life story. Now in Africa, the rural part of Africa, people love to cook with the woods because they feel like the food tastes better. So he was going to fetch some woods for his wife that day. He left and towards evening he was not back and to his wife that was strange because he didn't say he was going to walk in his farm or do anything else he was just going in to get woods for his wife a lot of people saw him leaving the community that day because his house was at the beginning of the community but where he was going to fetch the woods was towards the end the outskirts of the community that's where he was going to follow the bush track and then get into the woods the last person that saw him was a teenager that their house was actually the last house so she saw him when she was leaving going to get stuff for her mom she greeted him he answered her asked her how are you she said i'm fine and he continued according to her she said he was dressed in a gray shirt and a gray pants carrying his bush bags and had a machet on his hands machet machete on his hands he was swinging the machete against the leaves the bushes as he walked through the bush path going out of the community while she was walking into the community so when his wife didn't see him she raised an alarm and the town crier rang the bells they gathered all the youths got all the other bush trackers and they set out to go in search for him i'm talking a lots of people trooping into the forest different parts of the forest going in search for this man they searched and searched for hours upon hours calling out his name screaming hunters with their guns and everybody's just ready because somebody in the community is missing and not just anyone but someone that knew the woods someone that goes in deep to the uh, forest to get strong like mahogany woods for tables you know these very strong deep woods that they use for to make canoes and all of that so he knew the woods so it was strange that he was missing so they went in with full force, searching every nook and cranny of the forest. He was not found. When they were coming out from the forest, when they decided to call off the search, because there was nowhere else to look. They have searched everywhere, but it just seemed like this was beyond natural cause. This is not something that you say, maybe he, was, he encountered a wild animal and he was devoured by an animal. There was no sign of anything. They didn't find his machete. They didn't find a torn piece of cloth, one leg of shoe, socks, anything to show his bush bag or anything to show that there was someone around that area or the whole of that forest that they searched for. So they decided to call off the search and start going back home. So on their way out from the community, they got to a place where they had this giant big tree 
which was an area that they had already searched prior before they went in deep. There, lying down or resting his back on the big falling tree was this man. It as if he was just sitting down there resting, but he was dead and he was fully clothed. His shoes, his bag, everything was beside him, but he was just there, dead. Now, it was strange because he had no scratch, no struggle, nothing. So what killed this man? That is the question. Comment below and let